Okay, so this question here, right, the value V of a car may be modeled as a continuous variable at time t. Um, the rate of decrease of V is directly proportional to V squared. So that, notice this time, the rate of decrease of V. So in other words, V, the value, is falling over time, which is what you expect with a car, isn't it? The value will fall. It won't increase. So if, if V is falling, all right, if we think about the curve of V, if V was a curve, right, we could draw it as a curve, because it's falling, it'd be going down, wouldn't it? It'd be going down. That means it's got a negative gradient, okay, negative gradient. So when we're looking at the rate of decrease of V, okay, with respect to time, okay, in other words, dV by dt, okay, um, the rate of change of V, the, de the derivative of V, the, the gradient of V, it's going to be negative, yeah, it's going to be negative gradient because V is falling over time. So when I put the proportional thing in here, I need to put a minus in, okay? I need to put a minus, because it's directly proportional to the V squared, okay? But because it's decreasing, because the, the, the rate of decrease, the negative gradient, so make sure you put a minus there, all right? It's important. So then, to get our differential equation, okay, of course then we need to have an equals here, and just like before, you, um, you, you introduce a constant of proportionality, K, Okay, so then we have minus k v squared with a minus there, so important. Um, so for part b then, we've got to basically show this situation here, okay, where a is a constant and they give me initial conditions. So we need to get v, okay, so we're going to separate the variables. And if you notice here, I've got v's on both sides, that's why I'm separating the variables. So because I've got this times in here, I could take the v squared over and divide. Um, keep the minus k there, keep the minus there, it's easier just to keep it there, and take the dt up, okay, and of course then we need to integrate here then, okay, um, to, to work out our v squared, to, to work out our v, but if you notice here, I've got, um, I've got v squared on the bottom, so I, you know, that's not going to be ln, right, it was v squared on the bottom, you've got to take it up, so that'll be the integral of v to the minus 2 dv, and this will be then minus k with respect to t, so I can actually integrate that straight away. It'd be minus kt, wouldn't it? k is a constant, remember, minus k is a constant. So then you, you have a letter there next to it. Plus, of course, c, all right? Um, and when I integrate this then, um, I'm going to have um, um, v to the minus 2 dv, while um, that will be uh, v to the minus 1 over minus 1, okay? So you add one power to it. Okay, divide by that new power equals to minus kt plus c. Um, I could rewrite that then as, well, I could take the v, the v to the minus 1 down and put the minus in front, so that'll be minus 1 over v. Yeah, we're happy with that. Just bring that down, positive power 1, put the minus in front, equals to minus kt plus c. Okay, so we leave it like that for a minute. But if we look then at the conditions, it says, look, given that v equals 12,000 when t equals 0, so we'll use that to work out our constant, I think. Okay, so we can say, look, when t equals 0, v is equal to 12,000. Okay, so um, we chuck it in. So minus 1 over v, which is 12,000, equals to kt. Now that means k, but t is 0. So that means the, the k will go times by 0. So c will equal to minus 1 over 12,000. So put it back in here. So we say therefore minus 1 over v is equal to um, minus kt, okay, and then minus the c uh, happens to be minus 1 over 12,000, okay. Um, and there is our expression here so far. Now, if we look at that, it looks nothing like um, what we want in our question here, because this is what we want to get to, isn't it? We want to get to that. We want to get to v equals 12,000 over at plus 1, it says, where a is a constant. Okay, that's what we want to get to. And we've got nothing like that so far. So what I'm going to do is, because they're all negative signs, I'm going to make the signs positive, right? So that'll be 1 over v equals kt plus 1 over 12,000. Okay, I think that, that would make sense if I, if I do that. Um, uh, so all I've done is I've times through by minus 1, yeah? Or I've divided by minus 1, just changed all the signs. Now, the next thing I could do, right, is there's a couple of ways of doing this, but I could think about, right, putting these two together, okay, 
adding these two. Now you might think, well, how can you add these two? Well, I could write this as a fraction, couldn't I? If you think about it, I could write this as a fraction. And um, what I could do is say, right, I could write this as a fraction out of 12,000. But if I'm going to write it out of 12,000, I need to times it by 12,000. So I could say, look, this is the same as 12,000 kT over 12,000. If that makes sense, yeah? So I could do that. Because 12,000 divided by 12,000 is 1. So it's the same as kT there. Plus then 1 over 12,000. And because they've got the same denominator, I can now add them. Right? So I could say then 1 over V is equal to 12,000 kT plus 1 over 12,000. Okay. And then, because I've got a single fraction this side, a single fraction this side, I can actually flip this fraction, so we would get V. But if I flip this side, I need to flip that side as well. So I get 12,000 over 12,000 kT plus 1, okay? which is of the form I want here. Because if you look at the question, 12,000 over 80 plus 1, well, then I've got 12,000 over 12,000 kT plus 1. So I can say that's actually equal to 12,000 over 80 plus 1, okay? And A, remember it says in the question, A is a constant, so A will just represent this here, which will be a constant, isn't it? So I can just say, look, where A is equal to 12,000 k, a constant, all right? So I've got exactly what they want.